This is an ordinary man. Honey, I'm home. I made dinner. This is a hungry man. I'm hungry. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Brutal Foods. I'm your host, Chef Ian Brutal Foods. I'm finally back, and I'm stronger than ever. I know it's been a while since my last food video, and the honest explanation for that is that I just didn't want to make food videos, but today, I woke up and I just had the urge. So, here we are. Earlier today, I actually ran out to the store to pick up a few items to review. I didn't have anything in mind, I just kind of wandered around to see what caught my eye. Eventually, I ended up in the freezer section, which is a place that I don't visit very often these days. But it's there that I came across an old friend, or maybe it's an old enemy. It, it really depends on how you look at it. And that's how I ended up with three more Hungry Man meals. Each of these is something that wasn't covered in the previous video. We've got country fried chicken. We've got roasted carved white meat turkey. And to finish it off, we've got double chicken bowls. A boneless fried chicken plus mac and cheese sauce. I haven't had a Hungry Man meal since the last time I made one of these videos, and these all look uh, equally as frightening as those previous three. This is what I'm having for lunch today, these three meals, uh, but let's break it down one by one. We're gonna start with the country fried chicken. Just kind of feels like the safest one out of the three, you know? So here we got the Hungry Man country fried chicken dinner. Breaded white meat chicken, patties with gravy, mashed potatoes, green beans, and sweet apples. I feel like I vaguely remember the sweet apples from a previous Hungry Man meal. It looks non-threatening. I mean, it's just gonna be fried chicken. Seems safe. Uh, it's, it's hard to mess up fried chicken. Uh, it looks like they include a little map of your meal just in case you get a little lost along the way. There's the green bean forest. Uh, the savory mashed potato mountain, the two white meat chicken patties with country gravy parking lot, uh, located next to the scenic Sweet Apple Lake. And that's just one of the pleasant neighborhoods located in Hungry Man Town. You know, honestly, it doesn't look half bad. I mean, it might end up looking a little more pathetic uh, once it's warmed up, but as it stands, it does look like a pretty filling meal. Which one's the mashed potatoes? It looks like this one down here on the left looks like the mashed potatoes, but also the chicken patties look like they're in mashed potatoes. Oh, we got a map, we got a map. Okay, the chicken patties are actually in the gravy. That's not mashed potatoes, that is gravy. I don't know that I'd say that it's the best looking frozen dinner that I've ever laid eyes upon, but it eh, doesn't look too bad. We're gonna be using the microwave today. Remove film from dessert. Slit film over chicken. Cook on high four and a half minutes. Carefully remove brownie with a fork. Set aside. I find it a little strange that I gotta remove the brownie. Wait a minute, there's no brownie in here. <laughs> Film removed. Now we need to make a careful slit uh, right over the chip. <laughs> Complete. I feel like the light on this microwave is extremely dim. Can you see the food? Are you able to see the food in there? Can you guys see the food? I'm trying to focus on the food, but all I can really see are my oh, washboard abs. Oh. Oh. Uh, 
I can smell the dessert. I definitely smell the cinnamon apples, but I can smell everything else too. Well, something savory at least. I think the potatoes? Uh, stir potatoes and recover film. Oh. <laughs> uh, they definitely have a uh, mm, texture to them. Well, they're unfinished. Un I can't judge them now because they're unfinished, but they uh, feel bad. No, oh, mm -mm, no. Uh -uh. There's a lot of waiting when I do this. I forgot about all the waiting. It feels like I should be filling this time with interesting things, but I'm just waiting on the microwave. How have you guys been? Sorry for not uploading for a little while. Uh, I'm still working on that big video I talked about a couple videos ago. You'll see, at some point you'll see where all this time has gone. I'm not promising that the time has been going to something good, but it has been going somewhere. I think I should go brush my hair or something. I got time. You know what? It smells pretty good. Uh, it looks questionable maybe, but it smells not bad. Oh man, I'm actually pretty hungry. I just made sure to wait until I was absolutely starving to start filming, so ooh, ow. Should have made a plan for this. Plop. So here's what we got here. We got a couple chicken patties uh, that are looking okay in some pretty watery looking gravy. I'm honestly not a fan of cooking the fried chicken in the gravy because then you get this soggy border, but you know, the top part here looks all right. So that could be okay. I do smell the uh, seasoning on the breading. I think that's what I smell. I really smell the cinnamon from the apples and the spice on the breading. So that's a good sign. Mashed potatoes look, uh, you know, sad, not real sad. Then there's the cinnamon apple dessert, which I, I don't care for. I don't like warm cooked fruit, so it's not my favorite. And then we got green beans. It's a, it's a green bean. It looks like vanilla pudding. <laughs> it looks like vanilla pudding. Oh my God, I wish I didn't say that. Now I'm gonna expect vanilla pudding. Um, uh, oh, uh. Uh, mm, yeah. Not my favorite. I'm actually gonna try and get a piece here that has less gravy on it. The gravy is extremely watery and the chicken is, uh, I mean, you can see it. I don't hate the chicken. Honestly, the chicken, uh, I mean, it doesn't taste like, you know, real chicken. Kind of reminds me of a frozen, maybe like a Tyson chicken nugget not as good. I just wish it looked a little more like chicken. It doesn't really read chicken to my eyeball. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I could, I could come around. It's just the gravy that I'm really, uh... I like the flavor of the gravy. I just don't like how watery it is. Overall, the chicken is not too bad. I give it uh, 10 points. Huh. The texture reminds me of like a breakfast sausage patty and the gravy kind of reminds me of that too, which I don't like because it's chicken. It should look and remind me of chicken. Mashed potatoes, uh, they, they look pretty much what I would expect. I haven't had instant mashed potatoes in a while. It's not pleasant. When you're raised on instant mashed potatoes, it's like, yeah, okay. But if you haven't had them for a while and you've switched to real mashed potatoes, going back to instant is jarring. <laughs> Don't hate it. Don't hate I would add some pepper if were it in reach. It might be good with the green beans, actually. Uh, we got a 
green bean in my apples. Honestly, having a real green bean mixed in with some of the faker food might make it taste more real, you know? Yeah. Bean plus mashed potato, good. I'm not gonna try that. I'm done with the chicken. I'm done with the chicken. Let's see, bean plus apple. Oh. It's fine. The dessert is fine. Oh. Dessert just tastes like, uh, you know, faint hint of cinnamon with some mushy, squishy apples in there. This one is not my favorite. The country fried chickens are more like large chicken nuggets, soggy from soaking in a mysterious gravy with sides that are par for the course when it comes to these frozen meals. Definitely not inedible, but I get the Salisbury steak over this one every time. <laughs> Roasted great, uh, uh, the roasted carved white meat turkey. This one looks scary. I picked this one up thinking, I don't know, maybe Thanksgiving themed. I know that's like a month away, but uh, it's like a fall holiday meal, right? White meat turkey with mashed potatoes, gravy mixed, vegetables, seasoned stuffing, and apple cranberry compote. It's got 16 grams of protein. How many grams of sodium does it have? Oh, I see, that's all. <laughs> does it come with this? I, are these croutons? I don't see, uh... oh, it's stuffing, it's stuffing. Okay, these are like stuffing cubes, stuffing. Ah, <laughs> okay. It seemed to me a bad sign when you can't really tell what it's gonna be from the outside. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of what the dessert in the last meal looked like. Can you guys see down in there? You can see the layers of the turkey, kinda. So you got layered turkey, and then you've got the seasoning or the stuffing crumbles in there. And then this gray frozen part up here is the gravy, I'm assuming. It's brown, it's not gray. I don't know why I said gray. Then over here we've got just a uh, standard vegetable medley, um, nothing exciting. And here's the, what was it, apple cranberry compote. Uh, it looks like, <laughs> looks like a little bit of it may have gotten into the vegetables, but that's all right. Not looking forward to that, not looking forward to any of this actually. I missed the fried chicken already. Forgot to mention that this one also includes a meal map. Sliced white meat turkey. Yeah, it just looks, I don't know. They make it look pretty good on the box. I'll give them that. I, I don't think that's what ours is gonna look like, but they make it look pretty good on the box. The instructions are about the same. This one doesn't mention a brownie, which is nice. Uh, let's get started. Remove film from dessert, slit film over turkey. Been there before. Ooh, I can smell that turkey dinner, not excited. I will say though that this apple raspberry compote actually doesn't look too bad. If this was supposed to be a popsicle or maybe a slushy or something, I'd be excited. Um, I'm not excited, but I would be excited. Oh my God, I had to turn on a fan. Uh, you probably can't imagine, but it gets really hot under these muscles. It's like a nature's sweater. Mmm, mixed feelings. Visually, I'm scared. Smellurally, I'm intrigued. Um, I think I just smell the gravy. Um, I don't even know that I smell turkey, honestly. And this just looks a lot worse. I prefer this when it was frozen. Oh, 
Oh, still frozen, still frozen, very frozen. I'm supposed to rearrange the turkey, which is... Oh. <laughs> Yeah, no. Nah, mm. Maybe it'll look better after the rest of the microwave time. Very hot, 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 hot. Uh, well, obviously my first observation is gonna be the speck of apple raspberry compote on the turkey. Never like to see that. Not excited, even a little bit. Well, it looks how it looks. Uh, like, scary turkey with, uh, you know, gravy and... <laughs> the stuffing bits are soaked with the gravy. It's, it's gonna be just very mushy. The apple raspberry compote is intriguing. I'm intrigued by this. I don't think it's gonna taste like anything in particular. Sugar, maybe. But it's at least different than the cinnamon apples. I mean, that's nice. And then the veggies. Honestly, uh, looking forward the most to these. I think they'll be okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh. It's like there's nothing there. It's just nothing. Uh, it's almost like it's in a soup. It feels a little soupy. The turkey feels runny. Okay. Well, it's very strange. First things first, mushy smushy, don't like it. It just, it's like there's no solid mass of food in here. It, like I said, it's very soupy. The upside is that means there's a lot of different flavors mixed together, or you know, maybe two flavors mixed together, salt and meat flavors. The reason that's good is because the turkey doesn't tastes like anything in particular. It tastes like nothing. So you need the gravy and mashed potatoes at the same time. I don't like it. In my mouth, the turkey feels more like real meat than the chicken did, but it tastes like nothing, like it's not there. I'm gonna try and get some of the stuffing. Wet bread, I just don't, mm, no. Oh, no. I don't think I would like wet, regular stuffing. Like real stuffing, it kind of tastes like real stuffing. It's a shame. If it wasn't completely drenched, uh, maybe. It's not just that it's all wet, it's that it's like slimy. Uh... No, no. I'm giving the turkey, gravy, stuffing, mashed potato section. I'm gonna give that a one. Ah, oh, got a really bad aftertaste in my mouth. I don't hate some of it. If the stuffing was dry, that might be fine. The gravy is okay. I like the taste of the gravy more than the chicken fried chicken, country fried chicken. Mashed potatoes are exactly the same. Overall, too mushy and the meat doesn't taste. Try the dessert. Oh. Plop. It's like the same. It tastes exactly the same as the apple cinnamon. And then there's the veggies. They just taste like steamed veggies. The good thing is that they are real vegetables, which is nice in a uh, sea of uh, questionable other foods. The downside is that steaming vegetables is like the worst way to prepare vegetables, so it's still not very good. Unsurprisingly, the corn saves it. The corn is delicious. Don't care for the carrots so much, but I'm into the corn. 10 Bing. points. I'm giving the apple cranberry compote to two, I suppose. 
This one was sad. I didn't expect this one to be particularly delicious, but it's still worse than what I thought. Also, just what are the rules of food photography? How are you allowed to advertise something that looks like this, like that? Do they just have to make sure they're using the same kind of food that's actually in here? Are they allowed to photograph the food before they freeze it? That could be it, actually. If they had to actually microwave the meal and then photograph it, uh, there's no way they could get it to look this good. I don't believe it. Great turkey dinner. Hungry man turkey dinners are delicious and full of flavor. The vegetables are soft like steamed veggies, the mashed potatoes are fluffy and light, and the turkey is all white meat and tender. The entire meal has less than 500 calories, which is not bad at all for a pound of food. However, it does have a lot of sodium, but that is to be expected from any boxed meal. I guess it's hard to argue with this review. I would say that the potatoes are fluffy and light, sure. Mushy smushy. The turkey is tender. Yeah, I'll give it that. The turkey feels more like real meat than the chicken did. And the vegetables are soft like steamed veggie. Yeah, for sure. Steaming vegetables is like the worst way to prepare vegetables. It's like he said the exact same thing I said, but made it sound good somehow. Okay, time for the last one. I am still rather hungry, honestly. I don't mean to be wasteful, I just don't want to eat more of, of that. Now it's time to try something new. Hungry Man isn't a lazy brand. They don't just sit around and put out the same old meals they've always done. They like to innovate with bowls. If you walk through the frozen food aisle, there's definitely a bowl trend. You see a lot of these uh, meal bowls, not just noodles, but sure, chicken and mac and cheese, why not? It's probably just convenient to have everything in uh, one little tray. I don't, I don't know. Can you even really call it a bowl? I mean, it's just as flat as uh, the other ones. New Hungry Man Double Chicken Bowls. Boneless fried chicken. Two fried white meat chicken patties plus mac and cheese sauce. That doesn't sound great. Um, I didn't realize when I got this at the store that this was mac and cheese. I was actually reaching for a different bowl and this one fell off of the shelf, publicly embarrassing me, but it, it seemed like it was calling out to me, so I picked it up. I was gonna get one that was like chicken uh, ranch, I think. It might have still been uh, mac and cheese, I'm not sure. Uh, on that note, I don't really like mac and cheese, so uh, this is going to go badly. Huh. Well, right off the bat, the first thing that you're gonna notice is that the packaging is very different. I'm still not gonna call this a bowl. This is still a tray at best. The meal itself uh, looks pretty standard. I mean, this could be the, ex <laughs> the exact same chicken that I just ate earlier. I'm not sure. Got these uh, like line marks, almost like someone took a fork and drew lines on it to make the breading look realer or something. And the mac and cheese uh, has really big noodles, which I, I'm not a fan of. And there's also some green things, uh, peppers maybe, I don't know. What you put in mac and cheese, I don't know. has a different smell to it. I wonder if I actually smell the paper bowl. Well, visually, it doesn't look too bad. Stir in the mac and cheese. Trying to get under there and stir the mac and cheese without messing up the uh, chicken patties too bad. Bubbling hot. Oh, I'm so excited. It's, it's like Christmas morning. I wonder what I got. Mm. Thanks. 
Santa. Immediately, I smell the breading. Uh, I smell the chicken breading first, which I I'm okay with. I'm mostly excited to try the chicken. I don't think I'll care for the mac and cheese uh, one way or the other. I'm still not so sure about the lines across the chicken. It, it just seems like a way to fake me into thinking that it's higher quality than it is. The cheese actually doesn't look too bad though. It's got some more color in it than I expected. I still don't know what the deal is with those green things. They gotta be like bell pepper. I don't know why you would put green bell pepper in mac and cheese, but I don't know what else it would be. It looks more like chicken than the other chicken. Man, it tastes familiar. It tastes like chicken. The seasoning reminds me of something. Maybe it just reminds me of the other Hungry Man meals. That's not bad though. The chicken is not mushy. It's nice and thick and you actually have to like cut through it, which is a plus. Honestly, a little shocked. That's not bad. Again, this is for microwave meal standards, but that's a pretty decent piece of chicken. The breading is soggy because it's been microwaved, so that's a bummer. But other than that, it's not bad. I'm just sitting here eating chicken. I don't even care about the mac and cheese. The chicken gets a solid 25 points. That's probably one of the realest feeling and tasting frozen dinner chickens that I've had in quite some time. With that said, I have not eaten a frozen dinner since the last food video, so it's not like I'm well-versed in the genre. Even if the mac and cheese is terrible, I would rather eat this one than the roasted turkey or the country fried chicken. I'm, let's inspect, I wanna inspect the green things. It has to be bell pepper. It has to be bell pepper. I don't know why, but there's a lot of it too. <laughs> it, it doesn't taste like anything. Um, <laughs> I can taste the bell pepper and the ch the ch <laughs> No. No, even for instant mac and cheese is pretty weak. You need cheese, like you need to be able to taste the, the cheese part. It's like half of the thing. So I'm not impressed by the mac and cheese, but it also does not offend. The bell peppers offend me a little bit. I'm not sure what's up with that. I still don't, I don't love the mac and cheese, but it's fine. I do think that the mac and cheese is better with the chicken, but I like the chicken best by itself. I give the mac and cheese five points. Um, I wouldn't avoid it, but I don't know that I would actively eat all of it if, were I finishing this whole meal. As a whole though, not a bad option. The idea of a bowl made me a little bit afraid. It just seemed like a newfangled angle to try and angle me in. Even now, I'm not sure why it's a bowl. I don't know why you couldn't have the chicken on one side and the mac and cheese on the other. I think that's how I would have preferred it, but it makes the packaging easier. And uh, chances are you're gonna mix the two together anyway, so I guess I get it. Not, Not a bad so option. Bad I option. wish I remembered the other three Hungry Men meals so I could rank them, but I don't. Not <laughs> bad. I enjoyed the whole meal. It was tasty, chicken was tender and moist, and I liked the mixture of potatoes. I ate it for supper, but it was so big it would work for two lunches, I would definitely buy this again. Um, first observation would be that there's no potatoes in this meal. Three stars from Julie. Check the sodium on these kind of meals. It's a lot, it's a lot, lot, lot. In fact, it's so much that I kind of want to compare the sodium levels of these three just to see if there's a correlation. My least favorite of the three was the roasted turkey, for sure. Uh, mushy, flavorless, mushy, very, very mushy. If you would like a large plate of mush as a meal, this one's for you. It contains 1,310 megabytes of sodium, which is 57% of your daily value. Coming in at second, 
is the country fried chicken meal. I would say that these two are fairly similar. This one is, is a clear winner between the two, but they're pretty much on the same rank overall. This one has 1,660 megabytes of sodium, which is 72% uh, of your daily value. And finally, the winner of this episode is the Hungry Man Double Chicken Bowls, which has 2,090 megabytes of sodium, which is 91% of your daily value. Well, would you look at that? It turns out the more salt you use, the better it tastes. Uh, so while this one is my favorite and most tasty, it is also 91% of your daily sodium intake if you eat the whole thing. And honestly, reading that makes me feel better about limiting my intake of these meals because if I ate all of them... At the end of the day, I don't know. I don't think they're very good. As time goes on, I become a little more aware of what I'm eating and my intake of these frozen meals has pretty much completely stopped. When I first started making these food reviews, I was a little more accustomed to the taste of frozen dinner, but like I said, I have not had one since my last food video. I did not really enjoy any of this. This was close. This was almost like a food, but not really. These two, I can't recommend. I can't recommend these at all. I, I kind of like how this one looks like a giant question mark because that's how I feel about the contents of these boxes. This one here is just a no. Don't eat the turkey, don't get the turkey. The chicken is okay. I would say that if you are accustomed to frozen meals and you know what you're getting into, these two are probably the better option. This one was surprisingly good, given those standards. So, when all is said and done, Hungry Man Double Chicken Bowls is the winner and uh, we just have to live with it. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Brutal Foods. I know it's been a while since the last one, but like I said, I just didn't feel like making them. Uh, and if I don't feel like making them, they're not gonna be good if I make them. So I didn't make any. But now I'm making them, or making one at least. Bye. Bye.